A big welcome to everyone. Today I have another double page layout with lots of photos for you. Once again, I wanted to document this precious memory of my babies. They're in the bathtub together having lots of fun. As soon as I saw this paper from Fab Scraps, it's called Bouquets of Happiness, I knew I wanted to use it with these photos. Since I had my photos picked and my papers picked, I just went through all my stash and I pulled out anything that I thought I could use. At this point in time, I have no idea where this layout is going. And as I knew I was going to document quite a few photos, I pulled out my As A Studio little guide to help me place my photos. So all I'm doing here is I'm placing the photo underneath the stencil where I think I want it. And then with a pen, I just go around the outline of the stencil so that I know exactly where to cut. Anyone that lives in a rural area of Australia where you only have tank water understands that in times of drought, water becomes precious. Hence why these two kids are in one tiny baby bathtub together. Since I don't want to bore you with uh, me cutting out my photos, I'm just going to edit the rest of this out as I'm sure you all know how to cut photos and it's quite boring to watch, isn't it? Voila, all my photos are now cut and I'm just playing with placement and trying to work out exactly how I want to put my photos on this very first page. And just to give you full disclosure, I must admit that it took me a while to sort it all out. Now I'm just working on my second page and I'm basically going to follow the same techniques as I did for the first page. And now for the fun bit. So I got out my Distress Oxides and the first colour is the, oh what's it called, Evergreen bar, Bow, Burrow, can never pronounce that word. And I'm going to do some stamping. So I've got my wood grain stamp and it's from Kazercraft and I'm using the Tim Holtz stamping platform. I had looked through my stash for some sort of pattern paper that was in the a bit greyish, greyish blue if that makes sense, and I couldn't find anything so I decided I'd make my own and I just pulled out some grey cardstock and with that wood grain stamp I just made a row all across. Now because I only had one of these grey cardstocks and I had lots of photos to mat, I am doing a bit of paper piercing. So all I did to make the paper last is I cut about an inch strip and then went around the photos and adhered it on with my ATG gun and where the some of the photos had curves I just did the same procedure but just used my scissors to cut along the curve if that makes sense. I did cover the whole entire grey cardstock with my wood grain stamp and then I used it to mat all the photos as you saw earlier. So what I'm doing here is I got my grey flannel uh, dew drop ink and I just inked around the edges of all my photos which is something that I like to do and then of course I fussed around with the placement of my photos across the two double pages. So these tags they're from just my stash they were from one of the papers that I had left over and I just cut out the tags and then I cut out the rest of these little embellishments which is a little kettle and a jug and here are some close-ups of all my fussy cutting. I love that little jug and the kettle and the butterfly soap. And I don't use that on the layout, but I cut it out to use sometime in the future. So I'm just going through my stash and I'm going through the grey colours and the blues that I think will go well with the rest of this layout. So I was really happy that on this layout I used quite a lot of my scraps. This beautiful scrap piece of paper with the that sort of grey with the little love hearts on it that's from the Coca Vanilla Love Always collection and I was really happy that I finally got to use this little scrap of paper on this layout and this is another piece from my stash it's sort of like a light teal colour and it's got this lovely texture on it I'm going to use this beautiful textured paper as a mat behind my two tags the one on the first page and on the second page and I just love how I'm using my scraps to tie in with the rest of this layout. As you can see, I'm working on both pages simultaneously and I like to do that so that I make sure that the two pages more or less balance. I don't want them to look exactly alike, but I do want them to balance somehow. Off camera, I did adhere 
all my pieces together so that I could move it around as one whole section. This is a Kayser Craft Wildflower sticker sheet and I'm just going through my stash to see what I can use. And while I think about what my next step is, I'm going to ink all my edges with the grey flannel ink. So now I'm using another piece of my scrap paper and it had all these lovely words on it about being unique. So what I did was I cut out all the different sentiments that I liked and I'm going to use it on this layout. And this is what that little section looks like. I'm now convinced that this is exactly where I want everything to sit, so I'm just using my ATG gun to adhere everything down. I pulled out my bag that holds all my doilies, and I love these doilies from the Reject store. They were many different colours, but all pastel colours, and I just adore it. But you will see that that tealy colour that I put there, I do change it to, yes, that blue one. I just wanted a bit more contrast. So I'm just going through my little bits and pieces of ephemera that I've cut out from some of my scrap paper and I do land up using the jug there and this one here that I'm inking says these are the best memories to make and I do put it up there and that's where it stays. On my desk I had these lovely uh, wood veneer things and that says love this life and I just thought it went perfect in that little corner little corner niche there so I'm just going to glue it down. I'm then going to pull out one of my old stash this is from one of those cheap stores they're handmade little embellishments and even though I like that one that says buddy I decided to put it more onto the onto the second page because I thought it looked better there so yes there goes the glue and down it goes and that is its permanent home. So I'm just putting down another little word there. Oh no, sorry, not word. I pulled out some of the little flowers and I just stick them down. But they don't stay there, those lovely little flowers. And here I'm just using my uh, Jane Devonport. Oh, what are they? Paint paint pens? Uh, no, let me just see. I'll pull them out. It's um, paint over pen, she calls them. And I used the tealy colour and the it's called it's called mermaid there you go so what i did with that mermaid color it was a bit too bright for this layout so i'm just going over it with the the same jane Daven, davenport paint over pen but the color is white but she calls it unicorn and as you can see i'm just using my finger to smudge it and just tone down that blue color so i've now pulled out my um color blast little shimmer cubes and the colours I'm using are going to be deep water, just blue and envy. And all you do to activate them is just add a little water and away you go. So I'm just using my water brush pen just to get some of that colour onto the paper. And the colour is not spreading the way that I wanted it to but it takes me a little while to work out that it's because I didn't add any gesso. So as you can see, I did work a little bit before I realised I wanted the gesso. So I get some gesso out and I tone down some of that paint there and I go through the whole area and protect the page. And I do a bit of the dry brush technique to get the gesso on. And then I go back with my little shimmer goodness pods and I start adding the colour back in. And of course, now that I've added the gesso, everything spreads a little bit easier. So I do alternate between all the three colours that I pulled out in those shades of blue and I'm just adding some here and tilting the page so that the water runs down or the paint runs down a bit, the water colours here, just to get a bit more definition there. I've sped this process up so you can see what I'm doing but in the interest of keeping the video short. And it's basically the same technique over and over again where I just add some of my um, shimmer shimmer paints, shimmer watercolours, whatever they're called, and I let it spread. I also um, add gesso, take, uh, you know, and yeah, basically just played with, with it until I was happy. So it's just a matter of adding paint, you know, adding gesso, turning it down. Just keep working at it till you're happy with what you see. So I kept on repeating this whole process across, all, all over the page, all around my photos. And that's the finished product there, all, all that sort of 
adding taken on paint and what I'm doing here is I took off those little flowers that I'd stuck on earlier and I had these flowers in my stash that I made a while ago it's just from an old um it was an old stamp I used and then just colored it in with some watercolors and yeah I just stuck those down I pulled out some of these lovely little enamel dots and I'm putting them in the center of the flower so here I've pulled out my heavy duty liquid Liquitex gel medium and I'm just putting some of the gel medium on the page and then I'm sprinkling on some of these I can never remember what they're called sprinkles glass beads micro beads whatever they're called and I just spread it around with um, an old paintbrush that if it gets clogged with glue I don't really care so I do this very same procedure to all the three flowers that I've put in the um, in the three corners there and I just love the I don't know the texture that it adds to the page I love the color and yeah it's I just like it I'm glad I did it it is a bit time consuming but really worth the trouble so once I finished adding all my micro beads around those beautiful flowers that I made a long time ago I what did I do I got some cardstock out of my stash it was a lovely navy color that you sort of see at the top there and I trimmed down my layout just a smidgen on all four sides probably about two or three millimeters on each side and then I matted it onto the cardstock I pulled out the second page of this layout and I'm basically doing exactly the same procedure as before I got my flowers I um, glued them on then I got my enamel dots stuck it in the center of my flowers and all I'm doing now is adding some gesso because I remembered to add the gesso first this time round, not like my first page where I completely forgot and then I will go in with the um, color blast shimmer cubes and add that lovely blue color all around the only thing I did different to to this second page is that I got some thread and I put it just underneath the uh, that little word there which says buddies and yeah for some reason I wanted to add a bit of thread there it just needed a bit of something and then that lovely butterfly that I had fussy cut I just put that on top and it just gave it a nice little cluster there so I was really happy how this all turned out so I took both pages to my sewing machine and I did some zigzag stitching all around the, the edges, just the outside edges, and I really liked the extra bit of texture that that gave it. It just needed something, and once I did that, I, I could actually say, yes, this double page layout is complete. So anyway, there are some close-ups at the end for anyone that's interested, and I would like to take this opportunity to thank you all for supporting this small channel. I would really appreciate it if you haven't done so already to please subscribe to, to the channel and if you like what you see give it a thumbs up because it really does help us creators and it doesn't take long to just you know not just me but anyone that you're solo following just give them a thumbs up it really does help them for all the trouble that creators go to to just you know whatever it is that um, YouTube does with their algorithms I don't understand it but you know what it doesn't take long to give your whoever you're following a thumbs up Anyway, everyone, I hope you're all well. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, take care. Bye.